Army General. Shout out to Hate Army. Your name is Hate Army? You're saying Hate Army shit. Hate Army shout out. Good vibes to the Hate Army. Shout out for Hate. <laughs> no. I have a, a, a little short story to tell you that I thought was quite hilarious, although I don't know realistically what really happened, okay? So, yesterday I had to go to the garbage dump. All right, and uh, I do this, I, I would say I go maybe every few months. It's not often, but what happens is we have some trash that accumulates. I've said ever since I moved here to Washington State, this state is considered, get this, a green state, okay? What that means is that there's a lot of stuff here that's very different from other places. For example, when I lived in Connecticut, if you have trash, you take it out to the dumpster and the garbage company will come and pick it up, you know, once, twice a week, whatever it is, you know, once every other week. But there's an area to put your trash. Here, they don't have that. Here, I'm not joking. They allow you to have one can of trash every two weeks. For 20 fucking years, and fucking bitch, and complain, and fucking bitch, bitch, bitch to me. Fuck it. Yes, one can of trash every two weeks. That is really annoying, all right? Especially if you have pets, like we have Jasper. I mean, we change his litter box at least a couple times a week. That accumulates, you know? That's half of a garbage bag right there. Um, and you don't want that sitting around the house, you know what I mean? Uh, but there's other stuff, you know, to you clean the house or whatever, and every once in a while, you're gonna end up having more garbage than, than stuff. And what it is, is they actually want us to be so green out here. They want you to separate all your trash. I'm not kidding, this is what they want you to do. One can for just recyclables. So that would be, you know, cardboard, plastic, etc. That isn't that big of a deal. And once you get into the swing of that, you know, no big deal. But then, they want you to have one where you literally take all of your food scraps and you're supposed to either put them down a food disposal in your sink, which we have, or you're actually supposed to separate that out and put it into a separate can that then goes into what they call composting. But there's all these incredibly strict requirements of what could be and not be composted. And it can't have any kind of things mixed in with it. It's basically a pain in the ass, all right? And then you have your actual can of trash, which is supposed to be everything else. You know, soiled paper products, uh, plastic that can't be recycled, packaging, tape, you know, junk like the cleaning. You know, clean your house, you're going to throw that out. So all that stuff, right? Now, here's the thing, okay? If it wasn't a big deal, like if it was easy to do, if they made it easy to do, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't care. The problem is the criteria are so strict that if you do it wrong, you get yelled at, you get in trouble. We have a compost bin at the end of the street, and there's been several times, and it wasn't actually me or my family, but there's been several times since I've lived here and the 10 years I've been here, that there's been angry you know, messages going out. You guys put the wrong thing in the compost bin again, and yada, yada, yada. And it's like, so it's super strict. But then you want everyone to do it, but then you, you won't make it easy. So obviously people aren't gonna do it right, right? And then on top of that, so then, oh, well, because we have the separate trash, recycling, and compost, well, that means that you only get one can of trash every two weeks. It's just crazy. You know what I mean? Like, again, where, where do the rules come from? Did anyone actually test them to see if they would make sense? And how many people actually abide by them, right? That's a really good question. Anyway, the reason I bring this up it's because I had to go to the garbage dump yesterday. Like I say, every every few months, it's usually two to three months, we have garbage that accumulates. I save stuff that's basically like not food to be thrown out in a group thing, and I go to the garbage dump, all right? So I basically cleaned out the garage, went to the garbage dump. Now, I've got big-ass heavy bags of trash. This has cat litter and other heavy, heavy, dense shit in it, okay? So it's heavy shit. This isn't like, oh, it's a bunch of paper that's light. These are very heavy uh, bags weighing down my car. So I go to the dump. Now, here's how it works. Yes, you have to pay money. It's not free, okay? You have to pay money to go to the garbage dump, which is, I guess, fine. So you pay, and uh, you drive in, and it's this, like, how can I explain it? Like a, it's not a hole, because it's actually like concrete, like a big, giant, rectangular concrete area in the ground. And on the edges of it, they have these, like, ropes to stop people from walking in, because obviously you're not supposed to go in there. But what you do is you drive up, and there's all these parking spots, and you back in, and 
you take your bags or your trash because people who are contractors and stuff, you know, they have jobs where they destroyed furniture and shit. What are you going to do with that? You get rid of it at the dump. So all you do is you back up and then you take your stuff and you throw it through the ropes or over the ropes into this, this big gully or whatever it is. And they have these machines that come during the day. These, these people will come and they'll control the machine. A big metal arm comes down. It'll push all the stuff around and crush it all together. And then eventually a truck comes and just grabs that giant container that's in the ground and drives away to actually go to the real garbage dump. This is essentially like a transfer station where you dump your stuff, okay? So I go and, I, you know, I go to it and I'm looking. I'm like, what's going on? The entire thing is different. Now, I haven't been there in a few months. Like I said, probably the, the I probably went like beginning of this year was probably the last time that I went to the dump. So it's been a while since I've been there. So I go in. I'm like, this looks completely different. All right. There's a giant yellow metal wall blocking where you throw your trash. Now, I'm, you know, I'm six feet tall. And I would say this metal wall was probably up to chest level. So probably like maybe five four to five feet tall it was literally like up to right here okay so if it's going to be around here think about this right by default if you're short how are you supposed to throw your trash out right now you might say well it's a metal wall well what is it a gate it is a gate but it's padlocked shut and you can't open it unless you find an employee who's not doing anything and explain to them, hey, I've got a ridiculous amount of trash I need to throw out, and I can't just throw it over. Can you open the gate and supervise while I do this? So I'm looking all around, and I'm like, why would they have done this, right? And I'm looking all around, and I see these new signs that have never been there before. And they say, get this, warning, danger, stand back from the drop zone. Warning, fall danger imminent. And I'm looking, I'm like, you gotta be shitting me. I know what happened. Some fucking person came in here, clumsy as shit, and must have fallen into the fucking garbage ditch. And probably got hurt. They probably went in there and fell and broke a leg because it's all trash down there. You got furniture, you got metal, you got all kinds of shit. They might have fallen in there and got stabbed, right? Or impaled or something. So someone was basically completely not being responsible falls in and gets hurt now what are the chances they didn't sue the city right i guarantee you if someone fell in there they're probably suing now i've been to this dump probably two to three times a year for the past three years for maybe four all right i think i started going when cat had actually moved in we started cleaning the house out and that's when we started going to the dump so probably 2018 so you're talking four or five years. Not once have I ever gotten close to falling into this thing. And I've had giant ass heavy bags of trash. Not once. And the thing is, I've been going, I, I, this must not have been a frequent thing, or else it would have happened earlier. So you have to say one person, literally one person probably, being completely unsafe, slips in, gets hurt, and now they have to change the whole process. So now, to throw your trash, you either have to go find an employee and beg them to unlock the gate for you, or you have to throw your trash over a wall that's a good six feet away, if not further, from the ditch. Now, again, if you're having light-ass trash bags, oh, it's just a bunch of cleaning stuff for my house. But we have, you know, heavy-ass things that have had, you know, cat litter and other things that have accumulated. So these bags are heavy as fuck, all right? So I'm like, what the hell am I going to do this? So I'm thinking, well, I'm not going to go running around looking because there's no employees, by the way. Looking around, there's no one there. There's no employees there. It's empty. So you know you have to wait around to try to find someone. They probably have skeleton crew like most places these days. So I'm like, well, I just got to figure out a way to kind of throw it over. So there's a stairwell made of metal leaning up to one of those crane machines. And this is open and available. You can just walk up it. So I'm like, all right. So I grab my trash bag and I walk up the stairwell. And I have to do a sideways toss to get my bags into the ditch or else it wouldn't go like I'd have to just jump it over the wall and it would sit there and accumulate gross now the thing is I get the feeling that's what's going to happen you get a busy day do you really think people are going to give two fucking shits about throwing their stuff in the ditch no they're just going to say oh well fuck you and they're just going to dump it right over the wall and leave a giant pile of rotting shit there and no one's going to care so that's what's going to end up happening is this new system to protect the people who slip in is just going to make a giant disgusting festering mess well yeah, I get what you get. Get what you asked for, I guess. I don't know what else to say. Like, 
one one person, you know, makes a mistake, has an accident, and now the whole system's gonna get broken. You know, and you could tell it was new because this wall did not look old. You could tell they probably added this wall in the last couple of weeks, and even the signs look brand new. So you could tell this is a new thing. So I guess we'll see what happens. But uh, it was pretty frustrating because here it is. So here I am now. You guys know I have a bad back, right? I don't have a, a good back. My back is, you know, had back injuries over the years. I told you recently, my upper back's been killing me. So here I am taking these bad, giant bags of heavy trash, and instead of just being able to push them in like I used to be able to, now I got to lift, and I have to, I'm literally throwing like this, oh, and doing like giant arcing tosses of heavy ass bags into this fucking ditch, which I shouldn't be doing. All right, it's fucking stupid. Anyway, I got it done. And luckily, I didn't seem to hurt myself. My back seems all right, but I mean, that's luck. It really is. I shouldn't be putting myself into a situation like that when I have an established back injury that re-injures itself every once in a while. I've been having issues with my upper back. It's just bullshit. But I guess I got to deal with it now because some person slipped in and hurt themselves. And now everyone else, you know, has to now deal with the repercussions of that. Now, that's, that's modern human societies. Instead of actually, like, being reasonable, like saying, okay, danger... You know, throw out your trash at your own risk and, you know, warning, if you fall in, it's not our responsibility. Instead, have to build a giant fucking metal wall so no one can throw the trash out. Like, that makes more sense, doesn't it? Stupidity. Anyway. I only drink gin. All I do is drink gin. I'm going to drink an entire handle of gin tonight and pass out drunk on my, my kitchen floor. Three.